gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up was the first night by yourself it was great i loved it so much i would hear the hippos going crazy in the middle of the night and i loved that it was so fun how about you buddy it was a good first night uh, i slept very well good woke up a couple times did you like the water bottles in your bed yeah i thought it was a snake or something down there at first i was just like oh my gosh it was definitely a weird feeling at first even though i knew what it was yeah. it was it was fun did you, did you expect were you looking for it no, because he had, story? he had gotten in the bed first, oh, yeah. so I knew, yeah, like, he told me about it, and so yeah. I was more prepared. Yeah, that's the water bottle. Wow, wow. Is it still warm? It's it still warm it after a whole night. Thing. All right, let's go. It's, it's six right now. Luca and his bare feet <laughs> forever. All right, international boundary, no entry into Tanzania. And what did Luca just do? Enter into Tanzania. Should I do it? I dare you to. I don't want to break the rules though. <laughs> oh, you broke the rules. I am in Tanzania. <laughs> okay, now I'm back. <laughs> That was a quick trip. Right now I'm in Tanzania, and then if I walk over here, I'm in Kenya. <laughs> it's Serengeti. So now you're in the Serengeti, Serengeti and then uh, if Mas you go over there, Mara. you're in the Maasai Mara. Yeah, there's the there's the divider here, Tanzania, and says right here, above. Kenya. Jill, are you gonna go into Tanzania? I don't know. I'm such a rule follower. No, they saw uh, lions, okay. two prints, and that's yeah. why in the morning when we came in, you know, he, was, he was patrolling around. Yeah. You were looking oh. for lions before. before. No, there are, there, are, there are footprints here. Yeah, that shows uh, the lion was here, but it, it it seems really small. Yeah. So probably so we could take it. There we go. But probably, probably a leopard. A oh, leopard. Yeah, that's what I thought. yeah. So you're in Tanzania. I'm in Tanzania. And I'm, I'm in Kenya. Kenya. Oh, hey, Niko Tanzania. <laughs> <laughs> That was actually really cool getting to stand in Tanzania. <laughs> that was fun. Bye.
kind of wrapped up our early morning drive this morning and Luke so nicely has booked a private bush breakfast for me and the kids and so we're gonna go do that as a family that's where we're headed right now Asante. 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 Oh my goodness. What do you think of your bush breakfast? It is amazing, especially while we were trying to find where we were having breakfast. We stumbled upon more lions just out of the blue and they're not very far away. <laughs> so, no, the food's amazing. I can't believe they brought all that food over just for the four of us. So. <laughs> we have a lot of eating to do. We do. I love the bird sounds in the background. Yeah. We're just in this little clearing but we're surrounded by trees and bushes. And uh, there is an armed guard that's right out there. Um, he's got a, a big gun and he's here just in case um, some lions attack us. <laughs> the lions that we just found, come over <laughs> the here. The lions that we found are just literally like over that hill. So we literally stumbled upon them. Like, yeah, they were, that was not intentional. They were just right there, we weren't even looking for them. What do you think of this experience? This is the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> ever? I think this is the highlight of my life. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I'm considering moving to Africa, let's just put it that way. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need a cheeseburger every once in a while, but other than that, yeah, I'd be fine. You want to move here too? <laughs> yeah, I can visit the U.S. every once in a while. I've seen that. I mean, but this this is amazing. It's so beautiful here, and that the people are so wonderful. It's such a cool experience. I'm glad we did this. It was uh, it was actually just an optional add-on thing, and uh, I thought it'd be a fun way to just. Uh, celebrate this trip the four of us it's coming to an end we're only a few days away from our return it's hard to think about that but we are heading back in well I guess today would be Thursday and we're heading back on Sunday, Sunday. so Sunday evening so it's coming around the corner but it's been so fun and this is a great like capstone celebration of our trip and it's gonna be hard to go back home after this <laughs> <laughs> this was absolutely amazing and um, just another adventure that I'm just so glad I've got to experience with Luke and the kids. Um, it seems like it's been a little while since we've done something like this um, kind of trip and just every moment there's been a memory every day that I'm so glad that we've experienced together so I think we've all kind of found out that we all have a special place in our hearts for um, Kenya not our daughter Kenya but yes she has a place in our hearts but the the uh, country and um, just this experience so I'm I'm so glad to have been able to do this and the the bush breakfast just kind of was the icing on the cake because we love doing these special moments with the kids and they're getting older and we don't have too many more left just the four of us but I know as our family grows it'll get even better so I'm glad we took the time to do this for sure these are the guys that took such good care of us on this breakfast and here's the here's the place where we ate right back there but thanks guys appreciate it Jumbo. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yes. So nice. all right we are on our way for our second evening drive we're gonna go in search for some Duma cheetah <laughs> so hopefully we can find some our resort here is right that's where we eat dinner
but it's right on the river here. There is an electric fence protecting us from the hippos, but the river is full of these hippos. We just saw some. I'm going down here to see if I can get a better look. There's two crocodiles we, that Jill just spotted outside of our bedroom um, on our porch. You can look across the river and see them. One of them's mouth is open, it looks like.
All right, guys, we just finished our last evening drive. We've just spent some good time talking and we are getting ready to have our last dinner here tonight. We leave bright and early tomorrow morning. We're gonna do breakfast at 6.30 and then start driving at seven because we want to still try and see some wildlife while we're going through the park. So that is our goal. It is our last morning at Ashnil Mara Camp here in the Maasai Mara. And this day has been absolutely wonderful. We're sad to leave. We just had breakfast and we're gonna get in the cars. Um, we're gonna drive and try and find cheetah. We have not seen a cheetah yet. And then we are headed outside of the park and it's, I think it's a five hour drive back to Nairobi. Um, we only have a few more days left here. We have a big event happening on Saturday. It is the 20 year anniversary of King's Kids Village. That is the children's home Luke's grandparents started 20 years ago. So we're gonna be here for that and just really soak in the rest of our time here in Kenya. The kids are signing the guest book. We're giving them all of our money. <laughs> all, everything we have left, we're just giving it yeah. to them because we... It was yeah. a great save. We don't have much left anyway. So <laughs> Are you guys ready to go home? No. no. Oh, did you guys have fun? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good. Should we just stay here forever? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we should just keep driving. Okay. Forever. I found one thing out for sure here in Kenya that I'm definitely getting married here. Well, okay, we've got the wedding venue. <laughs> you can put that on the, you can, you can make that the title of the video. Kenya's wedding? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. What um, all do you guys, were you guys most excited to see? Everyone, just shout it out. Elephants and lions. Elephants, I love elephants. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'd say lions. I also lions. Like lions, yeah. Simba. I yeah. I really want to see a kill though. I really, really want to see a kill. Well, we almost saw one yesterday, but yeah, didn't but happen. Then saw the Jesus <laughs> race. So that down, just means that you have to come back and we have to do this all over. What do you guys hope we see today? Cheetahs. That's oh. Cheetahs and more elephants, because elephants Duma. are amazing. Luca is going to be the guide on today's tour. Yeah, so, Mr. Guide, yeah, what are we going to find? Oh, we're going to find all sorts of things. Yeah. Rabbits, uh, raccoons. Uh, Great. Did you say monkeys? Octopuses. Okay. If we're lucky. Wow. Uh -huh. I can't wait to see those. I've been waiting my <laughs> entire trip to see an octopus. Polar bears, too. It's okay, we're counting on you, Luca. Yep. <laughs> hey, don't go getting eloped on your uh, on your breakfast, your wild safari breakfast. That was what we all in the car thought might happen. So, yeah, have a blast. We'll meet you at the gate, or if things go well, just just stay in the park and set up tent and live here forever. We got stuck in the mud on the way out of the park. Um, we had to go around on the side road because this truck was blocking the main road and uh, it slowed down a little bit and we got stuck in the deep mud and so now we're trying to get it out and it's not looking good we'll see what happens here all right they got it uh, looks like they got a rope a tow rope so we'll be able to pull us out of here hopefully we're hoping this should do the trick actually it's not super super stuck but it's definitely stuck <laughs> i feel bad because they're trying to get us out of the park by 10. otherwise we have to pay a whole new set they'll of get park us out fees. by 10 yeah. i think we got this we got this i always wanted to walk I saw a lion out there. right there awesome and i saw those guys over there yeah are we gonna see a kill is it <laughs> is it gonna be us <laughs> We should make this one heavier. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, watch behind you, Lincoln. You just look out for lions behind you, okay? It's a drive-through. <laughs> Lincoln says this is like a drive-through for lions. You should be looking on that side. We are fast food, and that's not, not, that's not joking. Yeah, keep an eye out. Seriously, hey guys, Lincoln. It's not a joke. It's really serious. You look. <laughs> Keeping an eye out too. They come right across that field there. They'll say that's free food right there. Solo is definitely on the lookout for the lookout. any creature that could come you know, ruin the, our day. The weird thing is you when, can't the grass, see when the grass is so long, it's harder to see. They can be like right there, especially the cats. Yeah. You know, someone can be looking, at, someone's watching. Yeah. As long as they don't feel threatened, many times they'll leave you alone. 
What See, do you think? The topis out there? What do you think they like more, dark meat or white meat? White meat. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're health, health conscious. <laughs> They're health conscious. <laughs> <laughs> well, when the topis are running, that is not a good sign. No, not a good sign. Because we know oh. that that means usually they're being spooked by something or something. someone. Good job. Good job, Solo. <laughs> All right, we did it. Everybody clap. Yay! Yes. Extra adventure. We love that. That was a mini adventure. And we, <laughs> and, and we did not get eaten. Yeah, so mini but the topi adventure. were. The topi were, were scattering. Scattering. All right there. Yeah. The, right I think up because there. of the sound of the engine. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> We are free. We just uh, we just avoided the authorities. They were not. They were they were going after some of the cars that were uh, looking at the cheetahs, but they were in an area that's technically off limits, and uh, they were pulling over some of the safari vehicles, and we ran around. We ran around them uh, while they were being stopped, <laughs> and told the other vehicle to keep going. But it worked out. So we just. We just gave a big applause to our driver for uh, for basically helping us out of that mess. <laughs> able to find Cheetah and now we are at the the gate of the game park and we're getting ready to drive out and leave Masai Mara. Um, it's been a wonderful time. The Cheetah that we just got to see are two brothers. They are actually two of what used to be known as the five brothers and um, three of the brothers uh, have just through territorial and hyena attacks and everything they've been lost but we saw two of the five brothers and um, just really excited that we got to see them before we're exiting the park. We are back at KKV where we're staying. We're excited to be back. It's like coming home. 